The cells of the Order of Occult Eradication were a lonely place. Not a place where joy and laughter frequent in the dark, dank depths. A place where whispers carry and unsettling sounds cease not. In the corner, I can see the entirety of the cell and the creeping shadows beyond the door. Fear has pinned me to this spot, alone with my thoughts. The menacing sound of approaching footsteps stirs me. They stop outside my cell and the key turns. Metal hinges screech as the door is pushed open. Two silhouetted members of the OOE enter the room and loom over me. I flinch as one thrusts a hand in my direction, but there is no impact. Take this statement, he says, his voice stern. Learn it. I open one eye to find him holding a piece of paper for me to take. The other speaks next. Tomorrow, you'll recite the contents of that note to the court. The statement is riddled with lies. Lies I must tell to free myself while condemning an innocent man. Incriminating evidence of occult practice has undoubtedly been planted, waiting for discovery once my statement is delivered. I must find my courage when I recite the statement. This is where my training will help me. I know I will have an ally present in the courtroom, someone who will see me deliver a second message simultaneously. While I speak those lies, I will discreetly signal that I am under duress, using a code known to very few people.